Okay, this video is going to be a tutorial how to install sound drivers for Windows NT4 and for Windows NT5 Alpha, which is builds 1515 between 1631 and NT5.0 Beta 1, and I'm using build 1671. This is not 1631 or 1691. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you how you install sound drivers. First thing you want to go to My Computer. Go to Control Panel. Let me get the icons aligned up. You want to go to Multimedia. You're going to go to that Devices tab right here. Go to Audio Devices, click Add. Create it. You're going to select the Creative Lab Sound Blaster 1.x Pro 16. You're going to go to New. Click Browse. You're going to, one thing before you install the drivers. Make sure your CD-ROM or ISO image of Windows NT 4.0 or 5.0 Beta 1 or, the, or any early builds. Make sure your ISO is inserted because Windows NT 5.0 and NT 4 don't carry on build support for your sound drivers. So that's why you got to install them manually. So we'll go ahead and click OK. And it's gonna come up this with this, all of this, blah blah blah. Click continue. Right here at the bottom, you want to go to disable. Click OK. And it's gonna restart. And I'm using Windows and T5 Beta 1 build 1671. And there's gonna be a video for this one also for this build. But I'm going to use it to do a tutorial because a YouTube user requested it. In the earlier builds of Beta 1, you got to install from DOS, but NT4, sometime, somehow you can just boot from the CD instead of installing from DOS. And Beta 2 is the only build, is the only Beta for Windows and T5 that carry the on-built support for these sound drivers. Hang on one minute. We get the CD drive out. The ISO. I forgot to take it out. And I'm going to play the sound. If you try to install a build 1902 Windows and T5 Beta 2 with build 1902 I mean you have to upgrade from Windows NT4 the only build you can install fresh from a clean install would be build 1877 and build 1906 or the only ones and yeah and they have a 1796 build out there that builds that it's a rare build and uh and it's booting up Hold up a minute, let me put in my password and enable my stereo mix so you can hear the startup sound. Let me get settled up, show you proof it works. And I'm not using Microsoft Word or any other program, just hold up a minute. Oh well, I'm about to unplug the headphones. Let me let you hear them. I'm about to go ahead and boot it up.
may notice, you may heard it, and you notice my icon change. I'll put them like that. I kind of enabled that show icons using all possible colors. It's pretty easy to to do it to make it get better icons. Uh, I just went to the display properties and I enabled the show icon using all possible colors. And that's how I've gotten those icons to look better. They kind of look more like Windows 98 icons a little bit. They're kind of like Windows 98, kind of identical. And pretty much, it's not, you got to enable it, the show icon using all possible colors in it just to get those icons to look better by going to display properties. And I hope you watched my video, hope you enjoyed this and it helped you out. So, comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching.